Hey everybody, uh, wing review thing, yes, um, this is slightly different to how I normally do my wing reviews. You might notice some audio differences just because I'm using a different, well, it's the microphone in the camera rather than a uh, USB microphone that I normally use, so there might be a few differences with the, the audio, but that's just because it's a different mic. Um, I, Hyrule Historia, uh, you know, classic book, I've had it for ages now. It's a really good book about the Zelda franchise, but that's not what we're here for today. Um, I got back from work about 10 minutes ago, and it had arrived. So all that, you can actually see the reflection on my laptop. Ha, huh, cool. Um, Arts and Artifacts, latest book released today, I think it was. Mine had arrived when I got back from work, and it was just like, it's huge! I mean, to compare it to the Hyrule Historia, um, that size-wise, it's about the same, but thickness... It, it, it weighs a ton! It is, I haven't actually taken out the cellophane wrap yet, hence being able to see my laptop and everything. Um, so we're actually going to be having a look at this together. So I've got the keys complete with me, little, you know, Zelda thingy, yeah, because I'm that cool. So we're going to have a look together, see how this goes. Hopefully I will get, I'm going to, I'm heading out to the gym in a minute. Well, how long have I got? About 35 minutes, so hopefully we should be able to, this won't be a 35 minute video, don't worry. Just need to have a quick look, see what we think of the, uh, the book. Hopefully it'll be as good as the um, Hyrule Historia was. A lot of people said with the Hyrule Historia, though it's a, a nice book with nifty um, pictures and all that sort of thing, it didn't really answer a lot of questions. If anything, it just gave rise to more questions. Um, but as this is an actual Arts and Artifacts book, hopefully, I think there's like interviews and stuff in it as well. Uh, so, here we go then. Let's just have a... <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, let's see. If I'm going to go back to when I used to work with kids now, try and do the whole... What now, class? Let's have a look at this. Um, I don't know how much you want. Let's just move something out of the way from there. There we go. So now, hope... so now I think... Uh... Oh, so this has got some nice little doodles. Let's just... Uh... Adventure of Link. Oh, so does it do it like uh, by game? Game by game. Oh, there we go. Majora's Mask. There's a. Hang on, let's see if you can see it. There we go. Ugh! You got the book there, and you got the other picture. Let's have a look through. Yeah, Adventure of Link. A few things there from like uh, Four Swords, I think it is. What's that? A Link Between Worlds. Ah, Skyward Sword. Nifty. Oh, that's, oh, I like that. That's, that's, that's now that is a good picture. That one there. This uh, that one. That's quite snazzy. More stuff that's going more towards the back. Enemies. So it, it looks like it is, as the title suggests, Art and Artifacts. It is looks like it is purely, or for the most part, concept arts, just pictures of characters in their individual like variations. Zora Tribe official artwork. It did say that there were um what do we do does interviews. Oh yeah, preliminary sketches. Oh, that's interesting then. Preliminary sketches and that page there, the two at the. Uh, it, hang on, let's try and get this. Right, so you got the two at the top. Hang on, if I go like that, not on the table. There we go. So yeah, so you got the two at the top there. Preliminary sketches. Oh, there and then the other side there. Preliminary sketch. Other stuff. That's quite snazzy. I'm sure it's. A, oh, here we go. Up in our time. Yeah, that more. That well-known image. And you've got the one at the top there. It's like. Uh, Inking of it, or pin draw there. That is quite cool. I did say, I'm sure it said that there were interviews and stuff as well for this. Oh, Breath of the Wild! Oh, it's coming out soon! I'm so excited. I've got it. Oh, there we go. Look here at the back. There's a few. Uh, another side of Zelda, and then you've got a few pages of like, interviews and stuff. Illustrations is exciting. And you've got stuff for different people. Picture of a blokey there holding a thingy. There's a few little bits here and there. Satoru, Satoru Taz, Takizawa. I don't know. Apologies for the awful um, pronunciation. Rough sketch of Triforce Heroes during development. It's a tiny little one down the bottom. Uh, it's not really well focused, but there you go, during development. So, uh, so oh! Please look up the manual for details. Oh, and then you've got the different, the, the original link. You've got all of his different animations and weapon icons. Pixel art, it's got characters. Oh, a link, then it's got the same thing for 
other ones it's got all the different enemies other stuff link between worlds oh you can spend ages just freaking through this oh it's even got Home War Warriors stuff in here it's got Impa oh that's with more Skyward Sword not High Warriors love High Warriors Triforce Heroes. So it looks like it does go through pretty much Temple of Time the first 30 years. Oh! Logo and Package Gallery. There we go, there's a page. There you go, so you've got like a uh, link to. I've actually got the um, Oracle's games and all that. Was it Oracle Ages and Seasons? Not played them yet. That is a planned. Um, I don't know if it'd be a 1 versus 2 or something like that at some point or other. you got. Different concept arts for different characters. That it is. So it looks like that is it. It's pretty much as you go through the game by game. And then it's like, uh, there we go, for Ocarina of Time, there's different poses and stuff for Link doing various different malarkey stuff. So it looks as though, oh yeah, enemies. Yeah, so, not enemies. So it looks as though it is, although it says art and artifacts, it is, though it did say interviews, it's more, much more towards the art and artifacts. There we go, bosses, items from, uh, what's that, Majora's Mask, I think. Oh, yeah, it's got all the different masks down the bottom there. Hang on, there we go, all the different masks, items, various equipment. And I'm guessing eventually it'll go on to, yeah, the Oracle's games, Wind Waker, and the same sort of thing, all of Link's Tetra, Zelda, good old Ganondorf. Queen Fairy, what? she never really appeared much to Queen Fairy, they should do more with sort of her bosses, oh what's this, that, Four Swords, yeah, uh, Link to Pass and Four Swords, Twilight Princess, so, yeah. it, there isn't a lot of concept art by the looks of it, so if that was more the sort of thing you were going for, there doesn't seem to be very much in the way of concept art, it is more the um, uh, character models, um, official artwork and all that sort of thing, as opposed to uh, the different um, concepts of what they were doing for the enemies and characters and everything before they agreed on the official one. Stamps, okay. So if you were looking more for the whole um, concept art, that's probably more the um, High World Historia, which I'm... God, that thing's heavy. I think in that just in case you haven't seen this yet, it did have uh, different, like there, Twilight Princess, different concept arts for Link and all that sort of thing. Uh, and all some of the other characters did it. Did it let's see. Oh, let's see. The only one with the Hyrule Story is that it does focus a bit too much on Skyward Sword. It does seem like the whole like, first third of it was something like that. Which probably was just because they were trying to promote the game at the time, seeing as it was released shortly after. But, uh, you also a link to the past, there's some other concept arts for like Zelda and Link and stuff. So, if that's more the sort of thing you were wanting to look at, the Hyrule Historia would be more your sort of thing. But, there's a hell of a lot of good stuff in this, and I can probably just sit through and just. Well, that's a pretty sword. Stare at this sort of thing for God knows how long. The magical sword. Enemies. I think even these ones are just like official artwork. Well, that's an older game. It is official artwork for the game rather than concept arts, but uh, a few little bits. There's a couple of little. Um, I don't know. I think that's for tri Triforce Heroes. So you've got like the. Um, Main picture, and then at the bottom, there's a little bit like a. Thing. There we go. Sketch for it. So there's a few things in there. Characters. Things I, I quite like stuff like this, or the uh, the artwork and everything. I mean, I remember at uni, um, I had a little print in my room, so I actually went on the internet and just found loads of these little pictures like this with the Zelda characters printed them all off and just pinned them on my wall just because I liked the artwork so much. Ooh, that's. Okay, yeah, so you got last picture, so you got the Ganon sketch. 
there. So I guess rather than it being concept, it is just like the sketches that they did before then actually inking it for the official artwork, which is kind of snazzy. Skull Kid. So there's a lot. Of, if you go through pretty much every game, then towards Skyward Sword and all that, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, and then towards the back, you've got the uh, the different outfits for the uh, Triforce heroes. So it's actually got all of them just pictured, all the different. Uh, oh, there we go. All of his different costumes and everything you can get, and all that. And then towards the back, there's the actual little bits. Lego and packing sprites for the original games. Ah, so it's even got the different vari colour variations or anything. The other two. And then you've oh you've actually got the um bonus gallery. The wing crest roof. Oh so that's what's actually officially called. So apparently it's actually because I always just call it the trifle. So apparently it's called the wing crest. So there we go. I've learned something today and hopefully you have too. Then there's this different oh, okay. oh the motorbike for a Mario Kart. Oh, that's got, that's got a few little notes with it and stuff for the uh, the motorcycle that was in Mario Kart. It's kind of snazzy. And then it, oh, 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 Breath of the Wild. I can't wait for that. It's released in a week. Week tomorrow, it's released. So, yeah, and then you've got some concept art, well, the Guardian stuff for uh, Breath of the Wild, and then the uh, actual interviews, which make interesting reading. So that is the... Um, Ask an Artifacts book, or a brief introduction to it anyway, so um, it looks like an amazing book, I'm going to have a look through it, have, have a proper look at some of the concept arts, I mean it, it is quite heavy, you can probably bench press it and do quite well, so um, if you're a Master Zelda fan like me, I'd probably recommend getting a go, no doubt people like um, Peanut Butter Gamer and all that sort of thing are going to end up with a copy, and I got mine, so uh, if you fancy this sort of thing, definitely give it a try, you can quite, I think you can, it's not too expensive for, for what it is, so uh, this is going to be such an interesting look through. So, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.